Hi, welcome to my channel Yanam Takshasila. In this new video, I am going to solve a mathematical problem under the topic trigonometry. So the problem is, if sin a equal to 3 by 5 and cos b equal to 12 by 13, find the value of cos of a plus b. So what they have given in the problem? In this problem they have given sin a value is given that is 3 by 5 and cos b value is given. So you need to find the value of cos of a plus b. So you need to use the trigonometric formula of cos of a plus b. What is cos of a plus b? Cos of a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. So you need to find the value of cos a here and also you need to find the value of sin b. So first we write that trigonometric formula of cos of a plus b that is the step number one. So we know that cos of a plus b equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so first we will find the value of since we have they have given sin a value now we will find the value of cos a value so to find cos a now we know that cos square a plus sin square a equal to 1 so using that result we can write cos a as square root of 1 minus sin square a so this is equal to 1 minus, now what is sin a value here? It is given in the problem that is 3 by 5. So 3 by 5 whole square. So this is equal to square root 1 minus. Now apply the square root to, I mean this square to numerator and denominator. So what is 3 square? 3 square is 9. Now 5 square that is 25. Now take LCM. So 25 minus 9 by 25. Now what is 25 minus 9? That is root 16 by 25. Now what is square root of 16? That is 4. You need to apply the square root to numerator and denominator. So here apply the square root to 16 since 16 is 4 square. So square root of 16 is 4. Similarly 25 is a 5 square. So apply the square root to 25. It will become 5. So 4 by 5. So therefore cos a value is 4 by 5. So cos a equal to 4 by 5. Just put this in box. So next we will find the value of. What is the next thing you need to find? Because here they have given cos b value. So you need to find the value of sin b. So sin b equal to. So right here to find sin b. So sin b equal to. Square root. 1 minus. Cos square b. Because we know that cos square b plus sin square b equal to 1. So we are using that result. So this is equal to. Now 1 minus what is cos b value it is given the problem that is 12 by 13. So 12 by 13 the square is there put it a whole square. So this is equal to. Next step apply the square to numerator and denominator. So 12 square will become 144. Now 13 square is 169. So next step take LCM. So 169 minus 144 by 169. So what is 169 minus 144? So 9 minus 4, 5, 6, 4, 20. So it will get 25 by 169. Now apply the square root to numerator and denominator. So what is the numerator here? Numerator is 25. So what is 25? 25 is nothing but 5 square. So square root of 25 will become 5. Similarly, what is 169? 169 is 13 square. So square root of 169 will become 13. So you can write this as 5 by 13. So this is sin b equal to 5 by 13. So just put this in box. So we got the no, uh, values of, so you know the value of what is that sin a no. So sin a equal to 3 by 5. Now what is sin b here? Just now found out. What is sin b? That is 5 by 13. Then what is cos a value? So cos a value that also that is 4 by 5. Now cos b value just that is given the problem that is cos b value is 12 by 13. Now substitute all these values here in the right hand side of cos of a plus b. So cos of a plus b equal to just put all these values here. So what is first one is cos a. What is cos a value that is 4 by 5 into cos b value. What is cos b value? That is 12 by 13 minus 
then sign a value what is sign a value that is 3 by 5 then sign b value what is sign b that is 5 by 13 so next step simplify this use the 4 table 4 into 12 4 12 jar that is 48 5 5 13 jar 65 minus 3 5 jar is 15 again 5 13 jar that is 65 now see here denominator is same so you can subtract the numerators so you can write this as 48 minus 15 by 65 now what 48 minus 30, 15 is 33 by 65 so therefore cos of a plus b equal to 33 by 65 so this is the solution for the above problem now if you want to solve more problems of this kind i have given you a link in the description please click on that link and this video is mostly used for polytechnic and engineering students if you like my video, please subscribe my channel Yanam Takshasila for further updates. Thank you for watching my video.